Today we're going to be talking about Roblox AI, roleplay game AI, and ERLC AI, and how it's good and bad. When you think of AI, obviously you think artificial intelligence, but how, to what level can games actually use AI? In ERLC, you can actually use Discord bots to control commands in your private server. Now, I'm showing a few examples on screen. And honestly, it's pretty cool, but it can, you can honestly do anything with those commands. I mean, but I think for ERLC, it limits to in-game commands, but even on Discord, you can use those bots for literally anything. Another cool resource that ERLC uses AI for is AI helicopters. Now you can locate a player or you can just make it go on patrol. When you make it go on patrol, it patrols around the entire map. If I press locate a player... And then I select a player who's wanted. All I have to do is press begin search, which I'll press. And then I could I, I could probably even view the camera of the air support. So the air support is currently coming into the map. So we're going to have to wait until it gets here. But it is coming and it's finding the player who is wanted. So that's pretty cool. So here we have it. The AI helicopter is flying in. Wherever the suspect goes, the AI helicopter will go. It even shines the light down on the player who is wanted. If he's moving, it'll change. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Another way that ERLC uses AI technology. Roblox developers even have access to this assistant thing. So hopping onto Roblox, in general, the platform Roblox, here is one of the cool tools. You can use AI for writing code. So I said, create me a code for police lights, and AI is pretty much going to generate me a code. This is just like ChatGPT or any AI coding. It's just on Roblox. Like you can, This is for Roblox. Like You can actually use this for Roblox. What this means for developers is that developers can actually use this to literally create scripts for their game without having to worry, which is kind of crazy because before you literally have to write a scripter, this probably could take a scripter 20 minutes to write. So it's literally saving minutes of coding, which is pretty cool. Inside of Roblox Autopilot Simulator, we're currently not, I'm not even pressing my keyboard, all right? I'm not even pressing my keyboard right now, and we're literally just driving. I don't know where this thing is going to take me, but it's going to take me somewhere. But the cool part about this game is it literally uses AI to drive you in your Tesla. There is full, full auto driving mode, but it is currently in beta. But in a year or so, this game will probably... Oh, dude, why are you crashing into me, Mr. Squirrel Man? But in a year or so, this game could probably be one of the best autopilot... It probably... It is the, the best autopilot simulator. But it literally will have every single thing autopilot has to offer. Just like the Teslas in real life, I mean, that is actually pretty cool. The wheel is literally turning for me. And if you guys play on keyboard and mouse, you know the wheel will not turn like that for you. I haven't been able to do any actual turning on intersections, but this is still pretty cool. I mean, it's literally controlling the car in the lane for me. If you guys can see down in the bottom uh, left... It's actually like twisting back and forth, meaning the autopilot is trying to correct which way it's actually going because we are obviously on a curvy road as well. Inside of AI Test, if you don't know what AI Test, it's one of the most realistic AI games. has really nice physics, has really nice literal AI. That's not even a real person. That's literally an AI driving, an AI turning the corner. And there is multiple of these. Right now, it's kind of dead. But there is multiple of these AI drivers who can drive around. They have homes. There's literally a highway where you see trucks and semi-trucks going all the way down the highway. And I don't even know where they go because I think the map ends. I'm in a private server by myself. This guy's even stopped at a red light right now. Once the light turns green, looks like he's turning to the right. He or she, I can't really see. Yep, she's going to the right. She's literally merging onto the highway. So this is literally all AI technology, much like the autopilot game, but actual AI driving instead of the car driving you. Some of the cool things you could do in this game, you could even start AI police chases, though I don't know how to do it because I think my private server is like bugged or something, or maybe I just genuinely don't know how to do it because I was spending a lot of time doing it, trying to do it at least. But uh, you can spawn NPC vehicles, you can spawn NPCs, you could even become wanted and AI police will actually show up to your location. So this is pretty cool. If you guys want to check out an AI simulator, I think this is the game to play. There are many roleplay games that do implement AI, such as this one called Crime Logic. I've never played this game before, but I heard it was really good. And look, this isn't a real person, but this person is walking down the sidewalk. Now they're running. Oh, because he's shooting. Oh, jeez. 
Oh, and then this, this is an AI police car. That is not even a real police car. That is an AI police. And I don't know what the AI police is doing, but the AI police is not doing a good job. I will tell you that. And the person is literally trying to run from the AI police. Oh, so I've become wanted here because I'm shooting this person. I wonder, if the, oh, there's a police right there. Okay, and there's even an AI helicopter. It looks like a jailbreak helicopter. That's actually a jailbreak helicopter. I do want to see what the police actually does. Oh, they're hitting me. Okay, nope, there's two cops on me. Okay, I actually think that police in this- Oh, no, he got out of the car and he's beating me with a baton. I actually want to see, though, does he actually arrest me? Arrest me, please. All right, I've been arrested by the AI police officer. Now he's just walking back to the department. And I'm currently in jail, so... Yeah, I guess this game does replicate a good uh, idea of AI police officers. It's a pretty cool game. Now on the screen, you're going to see Police Simulator 911 and Emergency District Detroit, which are both completely AI games, AI callouts, AI calls, uh, AI traffic, AI fire department, literally everything you can imagine. I'm not going to play these games just because of the time I'm on, but they're still pretty cool AI games. And there's there's so much more AI games on Roblox I think you should all check out. Now, pretty much this entire video, I was hyping up how cool AI is and how interesting AI actually is on the Roblox platform and how games have actually been able to implement it. But I haven't really talked about the dangers of AI. So we're going to cover some of those dangers. One actually being coding AI so you can make the AI character do whatever. You don't know what the AI character is going to do. Much like in real life, those are some of the dangers we do have in real life. I mean, obviously, you have Chad GPT and stuff being able to make literally whatever you want. We have AI videos, literal AI videos being created, like fully AI videos, stuff like that. I'm sure stuff like that can actually come onto Roblox very soon. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the technology on Roblox has been upgraded like a lot through the past years it's, it's actually kind of crazy back onto the topic of development this is actually a really serious problem now all of these games such as these that i'm showing on screen are actually using ai to literally make thumbnails and game icons for them you could even go on the roblox game page right now as i'm gonna do and you can literally find ai games on here like AI thumbnail games, like literally I used AI to thumbnail one of my games before and it was actually pretty crazy what they actually came up with. This one, not AI. It, it does look like AI, but definitely not. This one is literally AI. Like this is literally AI photo. You can, you can really tell. And it literally has 500 people playing. Now, this is not to bash any games. I'm just saying, like, these games are actually just literally using AI art instead of hiring artists. So, one of the other dangers is literally because games cannot find artists because everything is going to be AI pretty soon. That these GFX artists aren't going to be making any money. Proving my point, here's another one. Literally, you got a woman inside of a pool. And it has 2.2 thousand people playing. I bet you half of these are kids and they literally don't know that this is AI. They just see this and, oh, it's a pretty attracting thumbnail. Like, it's a cool thumbnail because AI art is actually really good. Yeah, you literally search up simulators. One AI, two AI, three AI, that might not actually be AI, four AI, like, it's bad. Five, six AI, like... It is actually bad. Like, yeah, a lot of these games are good. They they have actual artists. But man, give it about a year when AI gets to his maximum. Not even maximum. Like, it gets really, really, really good. Another AI. Another AI. Like, another AI. Like, it's going to get crazy. Especially for these games that are really upcoming. It's it's going to get bad. And then you you have like these Roblox games using that AI assistant to code stuff for them. Like there's going to be so much games coming out in the future solely based off AI. Like literally, I would say 20% of these thumbnails are AI that I'm just scrolling down. And anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video on AI. Pretty dangerous stuff and actually pretty cool stuff. I hope you guys did learn a bit out of it. It's just crazy to see how AI is coming 
forward on Roblox. Hopefully, ERLC gets some more AI content soon. I mean, that would be pretty cool to have some more AI stuff in the game. Obviously, to where it's not taking over. But yeah, that would still be pretty cool. But anyway, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.